Messiah. Yeah, he the black Messiah. Messiah, Messiah. The nations don't desire. Messiah, Messiah. He's coming with the fire. Only the men, not the boys. The heavens should pass away with a great noise. The second Peter 3 and 10. God know he coming back. Tell a friend to repent. Oh, he going with the wind. Free smoke, free smoke. And that is thus said the Lord. I caught a murder that he wrote. Just like Noah on the boat. Matthew 24, verse 36 on down. The hour nobody knows. Like a thief in the night. When the Christ coming back here, life switching with the Father won't. That's my business when we keep it low. That's righteousness. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got a past test. My people scattered abroad. From the east to the west. Nah, you got a girlfriend, Don? Yes. You do? Yes. Well, I don't know that one. Give me, uh, yeah. Give me the 13 and 4. Nah, Exodus. Exodus 22. Yeah. So, Don, you got a girlfriend. Now, you know, ain't no such thing as girlfriend according to the Bible, right? You know what I'm saying? God never said, thou shalt have a girlfriend. That's right. Now, you can have a wife, but girlfriend don't exist. Right. Read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 22, verse 16. Read. And if it, and if a man entice a maid. And if a man entice a maid, because how did you get her? Didn't you have to speak game to her? Didn't you have to talk to her? Yep. All right, read. And if a man entice a maid, uh -huh. that is not betrothed. And she is not promised to anybody. She's not married. Read. And lie with her. And you have sex with that woman. Didn't you have sex with her? Read. He shall surely endow her to be his wife you gotta endow her to be your wife because what we up here to do we up here to turn boys into men that's right and we ain't talking about the r&b group this is real life <laughs> Check it out, read that huh? the book of hebrews chapter 13 verse 4 uh -huh. now, marriage is honorable in all he says marriage is honorable in all meaning the most high god loves marriage he loves that it's honorable read and the bed undefiled. And the bed is undefiled, meaning that's your wife. You can do anything you want to do with your wife. You see what I'm saying? Shouldn't nobody question what y'all doing. Read. But whoremongers. But whoremongers. But men that just want to go around sleeping from women to women to women to women. Read. And adulterers. And adulterers. Men that sleeping around with other folks' wives or women sleeping around with other women's husbands. Read. God will judge. God will judge you. You see what I'm saying? That's why you gotta marry that sister. Cause we men up here. You see what I'm saying? First Kings two and two. Yeah. We men up here. You ain't looking at no little boys up here. You know what I'm saying? A man isn't um, how many women you can sleep with in a week. A man isn't um, I got 20 foes on my ride, so so I'm doing good. That's not a man. A man is not. Um, nigga, I got stacks in my pocket. That's, right. That's not a man. Right. Read the book of First Kings, chapter two, verse two. I go the way of all the earth. This is King David saying, "Look, I'm finna die." Read. Be be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. He said, "Look, be strong and show yourself a man." Read. Get out, huh? And keep the charge of the Lord thy God, and keep the commandments of the Lord thy God. That's how you become a man. The so-called black. Hispanics and Native Americans in Jackson do not know how to be men yet. Bring it up. Psalms 94 and 16. Bring it up. Yeah. Because this is what men do. Right. Men do this right here. Bring it out. You see what I'm saying? Because it's going to take men to do this. Not no little boys. If you scared, stay at home. Read. Bring it up. The book of Psalms chapter 94 verse 16. Uh -huh. Bring it up. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? God is saying, look, what men are going to rise up for me against the evildoers? Is there any men left? You see what I'm saying? Because there's wickedness all around the world. Now, right. God needs men that's willing to put in this work. Right, Read that right. again from the top. Who will rise up 
for me against the evil doers. You notice he had to ask who because he don't see nobody doing it but a select few. Right. right. You see what I'm saying? It's up to us. We can't just wait and say, oh, well, somebody else going to do it. No, we got to put in the leg. That's right. We got to go from block to block to block handing out flyers. We got to be on the corners at night giving the word to people like you. You see what I'm saying? Is that it on that? Read. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? And who's going to tell these people that you in the midst of sin? You see what I'm saying? Who's going to do it? If we don't do it, then everything's just going to be how it is. Fair enough. Everybody's still going to be going to the strip club on Saturdays. Everybody's still going to be going to church on Sundays. We need somebody to tell the truth. That's right. right. You see what I'm saying? And it's going to take us to do it. Give me that in Luke uh, 14 and 23. Check it out. 14 yeah. and 23. Because this is what we out here to do. We ain't out here just for fun. We ain't out here to play games. This is serious. You see what I'm saying? Trump just sent, what, 150,000 troops over there to uh, Iraq, Iran? What is that? He planted to. Oh, yeah. He planted to? World War Three is about to kick off. That's right. And we still want to worry about who finna make the uh, finals in the NBA. Right. right. Bring it out, huh? Read. The book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 23. Right. Right. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the, into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in. So God told us, Go out to the highways and the hedges. Where we at? We right on the highways, we on the hedges, we right here. Read. That my house may be filled. That his house may be filled. Because guess what? He needs soldiers. You see what I'm saying? He need an army. Just like America has an army, just like Germany has an army, God has an army. And you're looking at them right now. That's right. 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 You see what I'm saying? Give me Proverbs uh, 1 and 20. Bring Proverbs up. 1 and 20. Yeah. Because you think you're just up here listening and it sounds good. No. It's, it, read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 20. Uh -huh. Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. Wisdom is crying out right now. She uttering her voice in the streets, but how can she do that? Because we bringing out the Bible. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Right. We giving you the knowledge. Right. You see right. what I'm saying? You got to get this so you can teach somebody else. You see what I'm saying? That's your whole job as a man. You got to teach the next person. That's right. You see what I'm saying? It's not going to happen overnight. Right. We, it, it's going to take time. The Most High gave us a serious job to do, and guess what? Yeah, it get hard as a time, but guess what? You still got to do it. Read that again from the top. Wisdom crying without... She uttereth her voice in the streets. It says wisdom is crying out. She uttereth her voice in the street. But what is wisdom? Give me Malachi 2 and 7. Check it out, huh? Malachi 2 and verse 7. So we finna show you what the wisdom and knowledge is. You see what I'm saying? We finna show you right now. Read that. The book of Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. Uh -huh. For the priest's lips shall keep knowledge. It said the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So guess what? You see me right now, ain't it? I'm a priest. Guess what? I'm coming out the Bible. Right. right. I'm not just up here, <laughs> yes, uh, and now God loves you. No. That's right. I'm coming out of the Bible. You Teach see what I'm saying? Right. I'm going to let you know what this Bible says, whether you hear or whether you forbear. Read. For the priest's lips shall keep knowledge, uh -huh. and they shall seek the law at his mouth. And you should seek the law out his mouth. Meaning if you come into a situation that is too difficult for you, that is too hard for you, you got elder men set up above you, and you can go to them and say, hey, what, what should I do? What counsel can you give me? And they're going to go straight to the Bible. You see what I'm saying? They're going to go straight to the Bible. Right. Because what does the Bible do? Psalms 19 and 7. Bring it out, what the Bible does. Bring it out. The Bible converts you. It helps you to change. You see what I'm saying? That's what this whole walk is about. Read. Right. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. Uh -huh. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law of the Lord is perfect. There's not a flaw in here. Everything is pure in this book. But you got dumb Negroes that say, oh, the Bible contradicts itself. Right. No, it don't. You just don't know how to read it. Right. Read. The law of the Lord is perfect. Uh -huh. Converting the soul. Converting the soul, meaning changing you. Changing your soul. So now you used to eat bacon pork and uh pork chops but now you know what let me eat god's clean food that he got for me That's right. you see what i'm saying it converts you it changes you damn she fired his hell with them pants on that's the flesh that's but right. now when you're converted man that's just beautiful with that dress on you see what i'm saying right. read the testimony of the lord is sure the testimony of the lord is sure meaning everything in this book is true 
Ain't nothing gonna fail in this book. Read. Making wise the simple. Making wise the simple. Because before this, you was dumb as hell. That's right. You see what I'm saying? We think we smart. I don't care if you went to Cambridge University. You could have went to damn Yale. Bring it up. If you ain't talking about this Bible, you dumb as hell. Point blank period. That's right. You see what I'm saying? And that's what we got to understand. Because think about it. This is, this, what we doing right now, this is going to change the face of the earth. That's right. You see what I'm saying? We know we could die for this. You see we talking about the Arab man. We talking about the white man. Give me Matthew 10 and 28. We know we could die for this, but we love you so much, we are willing to put our lives on the line for you. Right. You see what I'm saying? Read. The book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 28. Uh -huh. And fear not them which kill the body. It says fear not them which kill the body. A mortal man, the so-called Arab man, the so-called white man, the so-called Chinese man. It says fear not them that can kill the body. Cause yes, he could kill me. Like my saying goes, even if they kill me, they can't kill me. You see what I'm saying? That's a little heavy for you. But even if they kill me, they could really never kill me because they can kill my flesh, but they could never kill my spirit. Read. But are not able to kill the soul. They are not able to kill my soul. Why? But rather fear him, which is able to destroy both the soul and body in hell. See, because you got to fear God. That's right. To hell with the, uh, to hell with the mortal man. Right. You better fear the man that can kill your body and your soul That's in right. hell. You see what I'm saying? We don't have time to play. We don't have time to play. This is serious. You know what I'm saying? This is real serious. So with that being said, you know what your duty is as a man? Ecclesiastes, what's that, 12 and 13? Give me that, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Bring it out, huh? This is your duty as a man. This is what all men must do. The book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 12, verse 13. Uh -huh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. This sums up everything. Read. Fear God and Fear. keep his commandments. Fear God and keep his commandments. You see what I'm saying? Fear God and keep his commandments. That's all we should be worried about. Right. But how do you fear God? Give me Psalms 111 and verse 10. This is how you fear God. Because the black man in 2019 still doesn't know how to fear the Lord God. Yeah, that's right. Read the book of Psalms, chapter 111, verse 10. Uh -huh. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. It says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So once you fear God, then he'll start unlocking the mysteries in this Bible. Once you fear him. You see what I'm saying? Only when you fear him, though. Because guess what? When you was young and you used to run in and out of the house, what if your mama told you to stay outside, what did you do? What you do? You stayed outside, right? Why? Because you feared him. Same thing with the Most High God. Read. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Right. A good understanding have all they that do. His commandments. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. Hey, what's going on, bro? Can I talk to you for a minute? Let me get five minutes of your time. I see you. I see you. <laughs> you got okay. a license? Okay, good, good, good. So read that again from the top. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. It says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's how you get understanding. Once you fear God, he'll start to unlock the Bible. Read. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. That's when he'll give you a good understanding. Is that it on that? Yes, sir. Give me Revelation 22 and 14. Yeah. It says a good understanding have all they that do his commandments. But what is the benefit of doing the commandments? I'm gonna show you the benefits of doing the commandments. The book of Revelation chapter 22 verse 14. And this is better than any damn benefits package you can get at your work. What, right. where you work at? Waste management. Waste management? Okay, what, what? You probably get a little dental, dental plan, a little eye care plan. With this plan, you get eternal life. That's right. right. Read. Blessed are they that do his commandments. It say, blessed are they that do his commandments. You blessed when you do commandments. Read. That they may ha have right to the tree of life. That you might be able to have right to the tree of life. That you might get immortality. Key word though, might. Because you got to be doing the commandments. If you're not doing the commandments, it's over with. Right. You see what I'm saying? If you're not doing the commandments, this is what's going to happen. Give me Isaiah 66 and 15. Isaiah 66 and 15. We're going to paint a little picture for you right now. Because everybody think God is, God is love and 
I just love Jesus and yes, he's my Lord and Savior. Right. Yeah, he your Lord and Savior, but he will kill you too. Right. Right. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 15. Uh-huh. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots. It say, behold, the Lord will come with fire and his chariots. His chariots is talking about UFOs. What the white man call them, unidentified flying objects. Right. But they know what they are. That's right. They know they ain't unidentified. They know them our brothers up there. They right. know them the angels up there. That's right. right. Don't let them trick you. Read. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind uh -huh. to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. He gonna render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire, meaning war. War three. That's right. Nuclear destruction. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because the first time was with fire. Now water. this time, it's got to be, huh? Water. Yeah, the, I mean, the first time was with water. Now this time, it's going to be fire. That's right. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Now you want to save yourself from that. Verse 12. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened. Right. So look, the, he said he saw the, what, the dead? I saw the dead uh -huh. and small and great to stand before God. Stop. So he saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. What's he talking about, small and great? Meaning the poorest of the poor and the richest of the rich. Both of them are standing before God. What did he do? And the books were opened. And he opened the books, plural. Meaning he opened the Bible and then he opened the book that's recorded on you. Right. Of what you was doing. Read. And another book was opened. And the other book is your book. Because guess what? The book on you has to line up with the Bible. Sir. If it don't, it's a wrap. Read. Which is the book of life. Which is the book of life. You see what I'm saying? The Bible. That is the book of life. So you got to make sure you write so you can get into the kingdom of heaven. You see what I'm saying? Because you know. How do you. Hold on. Do you want the kingdom of heaven, first of all? Do you want the kingdom of heaven? You do? You know how to get it? You don't know how to get it? Matthew 19 and 16. Get out, right? I'm gonna show you. Matthew 19 and verse 16. Bring it up! Because this is how you get it. Read. The book of Matthew chapter 19 verse 16. Uh -huh. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So a young man came to Christ and said, look, Good master, what good things should I do that I may have eternal life? How can I get into the kingdom of heaven? What did he tell him? And he said unto him, What callest thou me good? That God is, said, hold on, God said, why you calling me good? Read. There is none good but one. There is none good but one. He always gave praises to the most high God. That's right. Read. Right. That is good. Uh -huh. But if thou wilt enter into life. But if you want to enter into life, what he got to do? Keep. The commandments! You gotta keep the commandments. And yes, sometimes it does get hard. But you know the most high God repents too, right? Give me that in Jeremiah 18, start at verse 6. Jeremiah 18, start at verse 6. Because we're here to build you up. We're here to build you up. Yes. Because I know what you probably think. God, how can I do all that? In it? Look, you are gonna mess up. God knows this. But he gives you grace and mercy. Right. Read what you got. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 18, verse 6. Read that. Oh, house of Israel, uh -huh. cannot I do with you as the this potter? So God is saying, can I do with you what I want to do? Read. Say the Lord, behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, uh -huh. so are ye in mine hand. So just how the potter can shape something into how he wants to shape it, God can do whatever he wants to do with us. Read. Oh, house of Israel. Uh -huh. At what instant I shall speak concerning a nation and concern Jump to verse 8. Verse 8. Uh -huh. If that nation against whom I have pronounced turn, turn from their evil. Look, so he says, now if that nation which I pronounce, which I proclaim, turn from their evil, which is us, if they do that, read, I will repent of the evil that I thought to do unto them. So God repents too. He say, look, if you turn away from your evil and repent, you know what? I'm going to repent too. I'm going to spare your life. Read. And at what instant I shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to build and to plant it. If and and he's going to build and plant us. You know what I'm saying? He's building us up right That's now. That's right. 
We everywhere. We in every state. You see what I'm saying? We overseas. That's they right. They can't stop this truth. Right. You see what I'm saying? They could try to, but they just boxing with God. And we all know you cannot box with God. Read. If it do evil in my sight, uh -huh. that it obey not my voice, uh -huh. then I will repent of the good wherewith I said I would benefit them. Now, God said, but if they keep doing evil in my sight, I'm going to repent of the good that I was going to do to you, and I'm going to send your enemies against you. You okay. see what I'm saying? So the God, God is fair. You do good, hey, I'm going to do good to you. You don't do good, I got something for you. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.